All right, well, we promised you the interview, and, well, here he is, the young man who electrified the world. He's about to electrify us. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Georgia Tech is proud of its many traditions, but the one I find most exciting is our tradition of excellence. Our mission as students is not to follow in the footsteps of the astronauts, Nobel Prize laureates, and president who graduated before us, but to exceed their footsteps. Want to change the world? You're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. If you want to build the Iron Man suit? You're in Georgia Tech. You can do that if you want to play theme music during your convocation speech like a badass. We're in Georgia Tech. We can do that. I am doing that. An epic speech that became a YouTube sensation, clicking thousands of watches, if you will, over the course of seconds. Right now, the Georgia Tech engineering student who electrified that crowd and since a nation. It's very, very, very good to have you. Nick Selby, thank you for coming. Thank you, Neil. Um, you will become a rock star overnight, my friend, and I, I have so much to ask you. One thing is, were you reading Prompter? <laughs> no, I was not. All right. I had See, this, this is very scary to me because I could never do that. Um, but <laughs> the second question, the guys behind you, the administrators, did they know that you were going to do this? No, they did not. The, the only people that knew were the people who were there during the sound check. Really? Uh, okay, so that, that's interesting. So when they heard the music and then they started hearing you shout, um, yeah. were they getting a little antsy? Because the guy right behind you, I don't know who he is, he's smiling, but it seems like a nervous smile. Absolutely. No, the, the two people behind me are, are, the, are the president and, uh, and, and Dr. Braz. And both of them, I, I don't think either of them knew what I was going to do. Uh, but they, they, they played along with it, and they, they seemed to enjoy it, and they both shook my hand afterward and said they enjoyed it. So. Well, uh, you know, I'm not blowing you smoke, Nick. It's the best speech I have ever heard in, in a college environment, <laughs> whether to graduates or incoming freshmen. I guess this was an incoming Georgia Tech freshman class, right? What did they think That's of correct. it? Now, I see them applauding at the end, but you don't get an idea of whether, whether they were laughing through it. Uh, what were they doing as you were going? Yeah, sure. So I got I got a few rounds of applause throughout, which was absolutely fantastic. You know, any penny, any public speaker loves that. Uh, they laughed at my jokes. They were all in all at a fantastic audience. The uh, the the clip at the end is is hilarious, and uh, a few of the websites that have been picking this up have kind of made fun of the fact that they just look like they don't really know what just happened. Which, in all honesty, is my favorite part of the video because you know, it was, <laughs> they were just shell shocked. It was, I wish they had cut exactly. away to all the administrators. I I mean, what were they doing? <laughs> now, you started very, you got into this slowly. I mean, it was delivered so well, but you built up Thank to you. it and the music came in and that's when you were really going for the crescendo. But, but when you started slowly, what was your assignment here just to s sort of help the freshmen to prepare them for what life at Georgia Tech was like? What was the, what did the administrators think you were going to do? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, coming in, these freshmen had been, had, had just gone through a very exhausting but not necessarily exciting day. So it was my job to just pump them up and get them excited about why they were here. And you were trying to say that uh, Georgia Tech is a great place to be and uh, it's a place where anything is possible. Um, so you wrote all this yourself, even the Iron Man suit reference, that was, that was all you. <laughs> Well, the Iron Man suit reference was me. Actually, the inspiration for the speech uh, came, came from back in my hometown in Phoenix, Arizona. I learned how to public speak at Desert Vista High School speech and debate team. And one of my old coaches, Andy Stone, uh, had performed a, a speech in high school, actually, or in college, on, uh, on science fiction literature. And he used the, you know, the big epic theme music right, and the right. you can do that message. And, and uh, that, it, when I saw that speech, I thought that was the greatest thing in the entire world. Absolutely, that's so cool. So I asked him when I was preparing, like, hey, do you mind if I use your idea? I think it would really work well. And he very graciously agreed, and everyone loved it. And uh, has he gotten back to you since? Absolutely, yeah, we just had a great conversation yesterday, actually. 
Um, you know, I think you've cracked the YouTube top 10 most requested <laughs> videos. Did you have any idea it would be that big a deal? I was, I was really hoping that I could get a round of applause at the end of the speech. <laughs> uh, and, but you were so just no, trying to I, jazz I, I them, no right? Idea. This was all about getting folks jazzed and all. And when you left the bill, I'm, I'm just always curious, like, you know, then you have to take off the gown and everything else, return as a student, go to your class. I mean, we've been trying to book you and you had classes and everything. So obviously you're an earnest <laughs> student. You weren't going to break away from that. But is life normal now or do people single you out and say, hey, dude, you are amazing. <laughs> It's not not quite normal just yet. I, I'm enjoying my 15 minutes of fame. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And you know, people have been asking me for like pictures, and and some people have been asking me for autographs. I'm no, I'm I get that it. all the time, uh, Nick. <laughs> the, the cross I bear. Now, but for I'm you, sure. do you want, what do you want to do? Now I know you're in the school of engineering, right? Absolutely. So I like I said in the speech, I want to be an inventor. Uh, and, and what that means, to be honest, I don't really know. My, my dream <laughs> job right now would be working for some amazing company, you know, like SpaceX or something like that that's wanting to send people to but Mars. But didn't Microsoft I, I do call the, the Microsoft code? Because uh, I also mentioned when I talked about you, another uh, memory I have is of Steve Ballmer, the Microsoft CEO, when he was dancing on stage uh -huh. and prancing around. And yeah, I loved right. it. I A lot of clip. people criticized him. But I loved it because it broke form and it was in your face. It was funny. It was fun. Uh, and I heard that, yeah. that Microsoft called you. Uh, I didn't know that. That's oh, really, really amazing. Well, you better I've, pick up I've... the phone then because Microsoft called you. Uh, <laughs> now, That's you don't want, a lot Thank of people you. looked at that and said, hey, this guy has a future in politics. Forget engineering. Uh, he could do a speech like that without teleprompter, by the way, show <laughs> off. Uh, that, hey, maybe this guy is limiting himself. Um, there are ways to advance to other things. Well, thank you very much. I, uh, to be, I think I'm going to stick with engineering. That's my passion. I, I really do love politics. I follow it quite closely. Uh, it, to be honest, I think I could do a little bit more in engineering than I could in politics. Ooh, very good. I'm just happy you're going to avoid you know, TV anchoring, the whole journalism thing. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, when, when you were st speaking there, one other thing I wanted to ask you about, uh, you had to be a little nervous, right? I mean, you and maybe a couple of these audio guys knew what you were about to do. I yeah. mean, you have to be worried about timing. You have to be worried about the music. You have to be worried about making you finish the crescendo that we we're showing you right now with your arms raised when you're all done. And then you just stayed there. Everything was timing. Were you worried you wouldn't get that down right? It was one shot and done. Oh, absolutely. A absolutely. I was very, very nervous. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a, uh, y you can see me do a kind of a head nod after the second big yes, duh, yes, duh. yes, yes, yes. And that was, that, that was me just being surprised that the timing worked out. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, that was really cool. Uh, although, um, but I mean, as you know in your business, Neil, uh, being nervous, like, that's a good thing, right? You want to use those nerves. So... That's, that's all it was for me. All right, now something's happening here that didn't happen when you were speaking. Your mic fell down your shirt, so. That's true, so okay, no, that's I'm going fine. to make. Just keep it there, who am I to tell you how to do your job? Uh, you ever <laughs> gonna speak again on speaking circuit? I mean, you can get money for this, you know. <laughs> I, I love public speaking, it's my passion. I can't do, like I'm not musical at all. I yeah. can't draw or dance or do anything like that. So, uh, I mean, speaking is, speaking is my creative outlet. It's, it's okay. my art, if you will. Um, Amazing. I'm, I'm passionate about it. Indeed you are. An amazing young man. Uh, we want to talk later because I want to hook you up with my daughter, but we'll talk about that another time. Uh, Nick Selby, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> amazing performance. You give us all hope. That'll do it here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Neil.